Hi, welcome to my tutorial on making a clickable banner. First thing we're going to need to do is get a picture of ourselves. So we're going to open a room in IMVU and take a picture. I open this one here. Um, you try to get a, a background with a solid color. Um, I think everyone got that uh, bionic white room. That'll also work. Now what you want to do is get your picture you want and hit your screenshot. Okay, that'll work. Now you can close IMVU. Next thing you want to do is open Paint. Now, I shrunk this down so it's going to be a little bit hard at first. Go to Edit, click Paste. Now that picture you just took is going to be there. Now click on the dotted box and this bottom one right here. Okay, now I've got to open this up. Now what you're going to do is crop your picture what, to what you want. Okay, I'm just going to put a little square here. Now right click and copy to and save it somewhere you can find it. I'm going to put mine in documents and I'm just going to put ME1. Now click save. It's going to save as a bitmap but that's fine. Now you can close that. This, is, this uh, save changes is going to come up. You can click no if you want. That's fine. Now what we're going to do next, what we're going to do next is open GIMP. Now GIMP is a free program and it works great. There's, I have a lot of tutorials on using it, so it's not that hard to use. I mean, you lay your mouse on, it'll tell you everything you, everything that's up here. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to open up a file, open. Now, I want to put get a background first. So what I'm going to do is find a picture I like, and here's one. Open. Now here's the picture I'm going to use for my base background. Now, if you look at my clickable banner, uh, so it's 318 by 132. It's a nice size, but not overly impact. So I'm going to click here, click scale, and I'm going to come over here. Now, when you use this, you want to break these chains. Okay, click on the chains, they'll break. Then you just write 318, and come down here, and 132. Click save, and that's going to save your picture, okay? So we're done with that for now, so I'm just going to slide that out of the way. Now I'm going to open this back up, and I'm going to go down and see if I can find... There it is. Click there. Click open. Now your picture's going to come up. Now what you want to do is get rid of this background here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little icon right here. This region by color. Click on that. Then you come up here and go to Layers, Transparency, Add Alpha Channel. Click there, and then just click the background. And you'll see the little dotted lines come up. Edit, Clear. Now it's completely gone, okay? So now what we're going to do is bring back our picture. Now, this picture here is 318 long by 132 high. Well, this is way bigger. So we could play around with this if we wanted to. There's a couple ways to do this. You could take this and just add it there and try to shrink it down. Um, but for this case, what we're going to do is view... Where is it? The image scale. Okay, so we know the height is 132. So we're going to change that. Oh, let's click the chain. I'm going to change that to 132. And the width, 183, it doesn't matter. We'll fix that later. Save. Now what we're going to do is click Dialog, go to Layers. And you click that, this box comes up. Take this, and for this reason I'm going to have a problem because of the video, but we'll try it anyway. You put this and you drop it right in there. Now that'll work. Okay, I had to do this a different way because the video is running, and it won't allow me to do it. But now the picture's in there, but it looks a little big. So what we're going to do, if you look here, you can go to scale. You click on the scale, you click on that picture, and you'll see it gets a whole bunch of stuff around it. Now what you can do is take this dot and move it right over to where you about you want it. Then take your line and just bring it in to about as far as you want it. And this box opens when you click on that scale. When you get it to where about you want it, just click scale, and there you go. You got your picture. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some writing in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on text, double click it, 
And you can change this to anything you want. Well, I like that typing, so. And I'm going to use, when you click on the black, or whatever color is in there, you can change your color. So I'm going to use red. Click OK. And then you click on there, on your picture, and this will come up. So I'm just going to write R-I-C-K-0313. And then I'm going to click Close, which it actually sets it. Now what you want to do is click these little arrows. Now when you lay it here, you're going to get a finger. Don't move it with the finger. Just keep moving it around until you see this little arrow show up. Once that arrow shows up, you can just bring it in where you want it. Now that's going to cover my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here to the scale tool again. Click on the scale tool. Click on there. And you move this out of your way. And you'll see this box comes back up. Well, you just grab it with the arrow and move it to where you want it. And it's going to look a little freaky at first. And then you click scale. Okay? Now it's there. Now we got to tell people what we make. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this box again. Again, this box will come up. And then just click on the picture again. Now I'm going to. Now here's a little secret I've done. Here you have uh, your independence stuff. Don't worry about that right now. Just finish what you're doing here. Uh, let's see. We're going to put rooms. Furniture, and let's say stickers. Okay, now you got that. Click close. Now you can't even see that. So what we're going to do again is we're going to come back here to the scale. Click on the scale. Click on the picture. Now when you do that, this box comes up. Now we already know the width of this is, uh, let's say, 318 was it? Okay. And the height was 132. Well, we don't want it that high, so let's just make it, um, let's try 50. See what that does. Okay, we click here. Now we want to move it again, so we want to click on these little arrows and find out until it gets a point. And there you go. Now that's all there is to that part of it. So what you want to do now is click on File, Save As, uh, change it to a name you want like uh, banner and you want to save that as a JPEG so you can either write dot JPEG there just scroll, scroll down until you find JPEG click save it's going to come up with this part don't worry just click export click OK now we're done with that for right now what we're going to do now is open photo bucket click on Im import image uh, let's see banner and open and leave it upload Okay, now in the group, it's uh, here. I'll add things to help you. Click on that. If it opens, and if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see uh, clickable links right here. Uh, below, you'll find a clickable link. What you want to do is highlight that. Okay, right click and copy. Okay, what I did next is I opened Notepad. Uh, I believe that's free on uh, Vista and XP. What you want to do is cl click, right click, and paste. Now that's the URL right there. So what we're going to do is uh, your catalog image here, your image is here. So what we're going to do is go back to Photo Bucket. We're going to go back to Photo Bucket, and what we're going to do is come down here to Image Code. Left click, right click, copy. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to just paste it right here because what we're going to do is we're going to take this here image here and we're going to get rid of that okay now we don't need all this image so we're going to go from HTTP to the JPEG right click copy and stick it right back in here paste next open up your catalog page and you'll see this address up here left uh, right, left click on it right click copy now let's, we will go all the way back here and take this part out. Your copy your catalog image here. Get rid of that and then just click that link you just did. Paste. Now highlight that and you're ready to put it anywhere you want. And you're done. Just for child, I'm going to just click it here. Paste. Go to preview. And if it worked, it should come out. There it is. Click on it and it'll take you right to your product page. 
you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll help you as I can. Thank you.